Okay, first and foremost, excuse my voice, I just slept for over 14 hours and I had no idea that was actually possible. But if you like or agree with this concept, please like and subscribe, thank you. But have you ever wanted a good debuking build? Every time I wipe and remake a build for like the third time, I always end up being okay with the build missing 2-3 to three rares or commons because I was finally able to get enough legendaries. For example, I have a flame charm build which is missing flaming rebound and health pack. I have a heavy build which doesn't have concussion or return to the dark ages. I have a thunder call medium build which could use some more stun talents because I spent 20 levels folding to get thresher skills. I have a no attunement dagger build which doesn't have true pain or warriors respite. All of these which I have wiped and tried to remake multiple times. Anyways, you get the point. Introducing the card exchange system. I just thought of this on the fly last night, so it's more of a concept than an actually a complete idea yet. But I feel like it could actually be something added to Depoken to greatly improve the quality of life. The base concept of this idea is that you can exchange cards for other cards, hence the name. There should also be limitations put in place, like you can't exchange a depth no more than a few levels after you roll it. And you can only exchange cards a max amount of 3-ish times, so you can't abuse it. Secondly, there should be higher value cards. For example, you could exchange a legendary like Showstopper for two rares or three commons, something like that because it's legendary, and vice versa. Like two rares for legendary, three rares for legendary, something like that. A good counter argument for this idea would be that everyone would run the same build, which I've seen a lot, but I think that allowing us to get more cards that we want would promote build diversity. There's a good reason a lot of people make the meta builds right now like no attunement. Besides the fact that they are OP, is that they are really easy to make RNG wise and letting us pick and choose certain cards would promote off meta builds or fun builds because they'd be easier to make. Alright, well anyways, that's about it for me. If you agreed, make sure to subscribe.